fucking manually, man. Yeah. Damn it. Do it fucking man. We'll do we'll it fucking, live. We'll fucking do it live, yeah. man. You got it. Good yeah. evening to you out there, guys. Thank you so much for being here with us on your Wednesday. I forgot for a second. On your yeah, Wednesday evening it. for another episode of Artificial Dinner Theater. Yeah. Fucking radio Woo! drama from the future, man. Radio drama from the future. Yes. yes. I got to tell you, I love this show, man. My name is Justin. I will be writing prompts and reading stage direction today. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys know Adam and Barbie, who will be supplying most of our voices this evening. And our star tonight, of course, is of Drunken Peasants fame, Billy Free. Yes. Yes. Woo! Yeah. Welcome, Mr. Free. Welcome, welcome. Bill, thanks for doing with us. Thank you very much. Week, man. Super cool, dude. Yeah, excited to be here. This is an awesome show. You guys are running a great... I, I, it's a great idea that has a great cast of characters making it a reality. I love it. Right? We were only yeah. missing one piece. And that was <laughs> you, man. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to it, though, guys. Today, we're going to write a spy movie. Yes. Which I, I think is going to be pretty good. By the way, give it up for our man Dual Wield running the fucking audio Duel. back there as well. With the mad yeah. sound effects, and we are prepped for some bullshit today. For oh, sure. indeed, we. If you are. haven't seen this yes. show before, guys, essentially what we do is come up with a premise and write a whole movie in real time using Chat GPT over here. We act it out as it comes uh, comes out, and then we throw it away because AI sucks. But I gotta tell you, <laughs> this shit has been pretty fucking funny so far. It's because been a hell mm -hmm. of a time. I do. There, there is no more radio drama. So taking like the oldest possible way to do something like this to tell a story like this and then doing it with the newest possible technology to do it with man i, I think that's a very interesting juxtaposition as they say i like it i agree i like yep. it a lot man indeed it's and it's a lot of fun to do it's a lot of fun to come up with voices on the spot it's a lot of fun to have great guests. You say I'm just trying to keep up with you, though, man. I can't. <laughs> Fuck, dude. He's the best. It uh, is true. Although I'll, I'll I'll say I've said it before. I'll say it again. Barbie doing Kim Jong Un <laughs> is one of the greatest performances oh, in the history I, of. I this think show. I even like try to embody him with my face and You'd my <laughs> posture in the chair. <laughs> you know, sometimes you have to do those things just to get into character. Yeah, yeah. It uh, well, it worked. Mm -hmm. It worked on me. I believed it. I was immersed <laughs> in the story, dude. When I in between laughing, I totally believed that. it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And uh, guys, in writing this uh, spy movie, William the Refrigerator here ha has, uh, has, has lent what he wanted to this as well. And I, I think that's a good format for us to take. These guests that come on, we want them to be the star of the fucking movie. Well, let's ask them what kind of fucking movie they want to be in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so we have come up with, at the very least, with a great name for this spy, or at least call sign for him. So today we will be writing a spy movie about, let's create <laughs> a let's tell spy right character called, uh, oh wait, codenamed, yeah. Double O <laughs> Dozen. Yes. <laughs> Our hero. Oh, Double O Dozen and his bakery themed gadgets and weapons. Gadgets man. Oh, and war, Fucking yes. so looking forward to writing this. Double O Dozen. <laughs> All right. Double so O Dozen on the scene. <laughs> Baker's right. Dozen. That's right, man. <laughs> and me and Billy were talking about it. I think we already know the name of the sequel. We'll come. We'll let AI come up with a name today, but I think I already know what the sequel should be, man. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's create a spy character code name Double O Dozen. First things first. First things first. Give I'm me sorry. a list of uh, ten real names for this spy. Okay. All right. Here are ten right. real names that can be used for a spy <laughs> character code name Double O Dozen. Alexander Steele. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, Sebastian Cross. Uh, this, I feel like the name should be, like if his name was Chris Zant, right? Or his name was Chris Zant. Like Chris Ooh, <laughs> Ethan Hunter. Uh, Ethan, yeah, that's Tom a little Cruise. derivative, isn't it? All <laughs> <Yeah>, right. 
Uh, Dominic you, Blackwood. You know what, these are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Give me ten Should more. Should we ask specifically for male names? Bakery theme. Bakery oh, theme. yeah, yeah, and male yes. names only. <laughs> male names only, please. There you go. There we go. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oliver Croissant, <laughs> Benjamin Baguette, <laughs> Harry Patisseri? What that is P patisserie that's a place that makes pastry uh, patisserie yeah. I thought that was daniel daniel Donuts. Samuel, Scone? Samuel Scone. <laughs> i like that one that's like your british counterpart uh william waffle i mean samuel scone oh teddy tart william waffle that's that's a <laughs> These are not bad. Jasper Jello. It's so much alliteration this is so <laughs> much alliteration. frosting <laughs> Uh, uh, I dude, I gotta tell you, I kind of like Oliver Croissant. <laughs> croissant. Oliver Croissant. 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 <laughs> Oliver Croissant. Uh, croissant. Okay. However, however you guys pronounce croissant, I'm gonna correct it the other way. Excellent. Sam Miguel says Agent Crispy <laughs> Cream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's name the let's name the character Oliver Croissant. croissant. All right, he is. Uh, okay, he's a spy, so let's say like early, no, let's do late 30s. Okay. Okay. He's been on the job. Late 30s, right? And let's make him, uh, yeah. you know, very burnt. similar to our actual star, Billy the Fridge, here today. So he is uh, lean, tall, blonde. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I am tall. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and has been a spy for uh, 10 years. Okay, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he likes to yes. drink old fashions. Right. Right? Old fashioned was the verdict earlier. Old fashions. He likes to drink with old extra cherry. <laughs> <laughs> with extra cherries. Uh, he carries extra cherries. bakery themed uh, gadgets. That's right. Mm hmm. Yeah. And weapons. And he works Weapons. at, um, okay, what's the name of the place that he works at? Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to copy all this. We'll come back to it. Give me a list of 10 names of places that Oliver Croissant would work at. Uh, I'm going to specify spy agencies. Mm -hmm. uh, Bakery-themed spy <laughs> Bakery -themed. agencies. Bakery-themed? Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you 10... <laughs> Uh, names of bakery-themed <laughs> spy agencies Oliver Croissant could work at. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the pastry Muffin and top secret agency. service. The CCC, the Cookie Counterintelligence Corps. <laughs> the Cake and Cipher Consortium. Whoa. That sounds like the bad guys. It's pretty right. good. <laughs> Baguette Espionage Bureau. That's not too bad. A I like the, Espionage I, I say we go with Donut Surveillance Division because, of course, they'd code name him Double O Dozen. Right. Because mm -hmm. they're, the, they're the Donuts. Yeah, the DSD, man. Double O Dozen. They're the Donuts. Let's just add one more thing, though. The ladies love him. The ladies the love ladies him. Love well, him. he's you know? a hua. I th <laughs> he likes his old fashioned. I thought like that was cherries. implied, oh, but. Terry! <laughs> You got his drink order wrong, damn it. Uh, okay, so... He's write, never coming back to this bar. Write a character sheet for <laughs> Oliver Croissant. Croissant. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, love it. Oh, yeah. Love it. Oh, Sun-kissed blonde hair. There we go, dude. Oh, yes. Oh, this Piercing is blue eyes. Croissant shape, throwing stars. Arch says, arrival arts. pastry chef turned evil mastermind. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. Dude, under skills, Lady. it says seductive charm. That's a perk chart, son. This is amazing. <laughs> you gotta uh, copy this and save it. It, it knows, as long as it's in the conversation, it'll <laughs> No, well, it's this. just like for you, like right. just, I don't know. Mr. Billy, really would good. you care to read a little bit of this, my friend? All right, the character sheet, Oliver Croissant, double O dozen, full name, Oliver Croissant, code name, double O dozen, age, late 30s, appearance, tall and lean with sun-kissed blonde hair and piercing blue eyes, always impeccably dressed in tailored suits and wears a neatly trimmed beard. So he looks just Back like quick. you, dude. Perfect. 
<laughs> He's just like me. That's me. This is me point oh. Basically just background. You, yes. Born into a family of pastry chefs. Oh shit. Oliver Croissant grew up surrounded by the sweet and savory delights of the bakery world. Ooh. His knack for creativity and precision in the kitchen eventually led him to a unique career path as a spy with a bakery themed twist. Yes. This is unbelievable. The spies he works for is the Donut Surveillance Division, aka the DSD. The DSD. Signature drink. Oliver's go to drink is the classic old fashioned, which he enjoys sipping on while contemplating his next move. This, this fucking awesome. guy, Skills man. include. God bakery damn. expertise. I Oliver's love it, so. bakery background has given him an unparalleled understanding of pastries, bread, and confectionery, which he often uses to craft gadgets and weapons. Oh, now, see, I feel like at his agency, he's got to have a it's M. Like, what yeah. did he M? That Q. made the gadgets for James Bond? I thought it was Q. Or that was Q. Right. Made okay. him the gadgets. Q. Yeah, M was so, also in Bond, though, too, right? That was a different one? Yeah, that yeah. was like So he has massive skills, ladies. including cooking and fucking, right? So that's good. Uh, yeah. He infiltrates pastry operations, gets secret recipes, and prevents baked goods from falling in the wrong hands. Yes. Explosive oh, macaroons. Yes, sir. Wow. In espionage, as in baking, timing is everything. Bam. Oh, <laughs> That's a hell of a motto. <laughs> That's great. That's great. wow. Okay, so write a character sheet. For Oliver's arch, I'm just gonna let it go on this one. It kind of knows, so arch let's see what it comes up with. Hopefully, it gives it a name. Nobody says Q made the gadget sim with the boss. That's right. Thanks, guys. Bro. By the way, 62% on that hype train. Whoa. Thank you guys so much. Victor Indeed. von Kulinier. Oh my god, hey, dude, it's going all in on this shit. Victor. Christ. Holy In the world shit. of gastronomy, wow. only one chef can reign supreme. And it shall be me. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, you want to read a little of this? Full name, Victor Von Coulinier. Alias, Chef what? Maléfique? Male <laughs> Is Malefique. that the chef of hate? <laughs> chef Maléfique. Age, early 40s. Appearance, Victor Von Collinier is dark, tall, dark, and imposing figure. He has jet black hair, a well-groomed beard, and piercing gray eyes so that again, seem looks to just hide like you. a sinister intelligence. He often wears high-end chef's attire with a subtle dark twist. <laughs> what Terrible. is that like? A black ascot? Right. What's in his skills down <laughs> here? You tell him Steve Dave gifted a sub to Double O Donut. Nice. <laughs> Uh, skills, culinary genius. That's right. Strategist, resourceful, charismatic, and martial arts. Nice. <laughs> Chef knives with hidden Whoa. blades, toxic pastry fillings, Bro. and a cane with a retractable blowtorch. Holy man. shit. They did a Damn. great job. Good job, chat. Yeah. PGBT for the first time ever. Right. Mo What's motive. his motive? Victor's ultimate goal is to create the perfect dish that will grant him unrivaled power and control over the world's culinary industry. He believes that only he can wield this culinary masterpiece. Damn. Bam. Bam! Despite his brilliance, Victor's obsession with perfection often leads to his downfall. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. He's mm. known to underestimate the power mm. of teamwork. That's right. Oh, man. Okay, so give me a list of 10 names for movies starring uh, a double O, <laughs> double O dozen, and. What was it, Victor, Victor Von Doom? Yeah, Chef Maléfique. Oh, shit. Victor... Okay. Victor oh, Von Colignier, yeah. right? Yeah, something like that. Oh, Christ, where is it? Just copy and paste it. Colignier. All the way up. Colignari. 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 Maybe, maybe he's uh, Italian. Okay, ten movies. <laughs> Victor's not very Italian. <laughs> That's fair, yeah. Baking at the <laughs> croissant, croissant conundrum. Mm -hmm. eh. Dough and danger. That's kind of great. Yeah. That's not bad. Recipe for deception. <laughs> <laughs> Bread, butter, and betrayal. Bread, butter, and betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the pastry paradox. Uh, 
Chef versus spy, the bittersweet battle. <laughs> gourmet Ooh, gambit. Like chocolate the bittersweet. croissant gourmet or ultimatum. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's already <laughs> it's already double, double o dozen, dozen colon. So we just need gourmet one, gambit. Yeah, or claws, whatever. Right. I don't know. Bread, butter, and betrayal. Yeah, not bad. It's pretty dude. fucking good. I yeah. kind of like that. <laughs> All right, let's take it. Okay, boys. Very nicely done out there. Uh, I, I think we're ready to write a scene. I think we're ready to write Is a it scene. Time? <laughs> now I will say. My initial idea for what the bad guy's going to do is I wanted him to be the guy that stole the F-35. Right. I, this is very bakery-themed, though. I'm not sure how that could work together, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see, man. Well, he wants to beat he wants to beat me at all costs, right, to be the fastest chef. Right, right. Does he need an F-35 to do that? I don't maybe, know. Maybe he needs an <laughs> F-35 because only it has the parts in it that he could use to make his Oh, oven he wants to strip one up. down. He's going to gonna make... try to cook up okay. pastries with a jet engine. <laughs> yes. Okay. All Faster right. pastries, full of poison. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Please write dialogue for the first 10 minutes of Act 1 of the Final Draft and extended screenplay in Final Draft style of a movie called. So in the past, this has worked okay. But this is always the hardest part, man. Called, what was it called? Bread? Bu uh, okay. Double, Double O dozen. Double O dozen. dozen semicolon. Bread, bread, butter, and butter, betrayal. And bread, butter, and Rated R. betrayal. Coming to right? sound to a Rated R. You tell him, Steve Dave, 333. Thank you, Steve Dave. He says, I don't know what donuts you have Ooh. on. This one seems perfect for this movie. It, it's not this, it's a more basic set for this show. For sure. the, we'll come up with some stuff over time, like uh, being able to pump in with sound effects and shit. Why not? But we'll, we'll think about that later. Okay. In, okay, so there's the title. In the first few scenes, what was Double O Dozen's real name? Oliver. Oh, Cros Oliver Croissant. Oliver, Oliver Croissant. Yeah. Not most of it, Oliver Croissant. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Oliver mm -hmm. Croissant, aka Double O Dozen, is finishing a mission, right? All right, so yeah. what do, it's got to be the climax of it. Like he's jumping out of something that explodes or he comes out onto the beach in a wetsuit. He takes off. He's got a tuxedo underneath. Right. You know, right. one of these kind of scenes. Classic like what, style. Yeah. What's happening right at the end of his previous mission? He's got to he's got to come out like, I don't know. Shit. Now I'm thinking of true lies. He goes into the party. It's not. He starts. Oh, we see him do that. a whole mission real yeah. quickly. Yeah, Where he like go, he has, he's got to go in all clandestine and like take out dudes by breaking their necks behind him and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, does, does he say, jump out of a does he jump out of a giant wedding cake that was meant for bro <laughs> a, a, a big party for he jumps out so of he a cake out for the bad guy or something? Two guns, cut da 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 da. I love it. That'll be fun. And then it's <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Uh, he. All right, you we can see picture it. a Colombian wedding. Mm. <laughs> Greg wants some of that impossible kid in this. That's right. Double O dozen jumps out of a uh, of the wedding cake. Right. Uh, brandishing guns are blazing, or yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm just go straight to it. Fuck the brandishing so, guns blazing. These Colombians have been putting cocaine in the powdered sugar, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, fine. it's part yeah, of the, yeah, yeah. the buttercream frosting. Right? Yeah, yeah. These guys have been smuggling cocaine uh, in, in cake frosting, and he's pissed because they're ruining cakes. <laughs> That's right. He's got to protect the cakes, man. <laughs> and Adrian Croissant. Three children were high for seven days. <laughs> is making justice while saving children from uh, the dangers of narcotics. Uh, it, this shit has actually warned us for TOS before by writing rated R movies. Okay. So I got to get some things. Gotta in, you know, it. Yeah. yeah. Nobody you know out there plays yes. some 007, does some 00 dozen guitar licks. <laughs> After he takes out the bad guys, uh, the cake sp 
splits in half to reveal uh, a, a, a tiny motorcycle <laughs> <laughs> that uh, uh, Oliver escapes. <laughs> what, what if what if there was what if there was a wedding gift that had the tiny motorcycle in it? Oh shit, that's even he better. Sent it, honestly. Sent it to them. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, a wedding gift. He grabs yeah. a particular wedding gift, opens it to reveal a jetpack. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and as it flies away, smash cut to, to opening yeah, credits. Yeah, and escapes to the rendezvous point. Then. Smash cut to opening titles. Bang! Yes. Let's go, man! Yes. I like it. <sighs> I'm into it. Oh, it's right! Oh, it's doing correctly. it right! So far. Where's the dialogue? Woo. Oh, don't fuck up the dialogue, chat DPT. It's thinking about it. it Interior of the wedding cake. We have to see it inside. <laughs> we there. gotta see the inside. <laughs> There's no dialogue. Okay, oh, that's okay. We're we're gonna let it slide. We're gonna let it slide because you may. This is the opening. May not need much. Again, think true lies. Not that's much true. dialogue. Yeah, there you didn't the say much. It's just yeah. all action. All right. Well, then the I guess I'm just, just gonna read the page here. Here we go. What was it called again? It gave, also gave us the. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's there in the in that paragraph there. Texts. Oh what? Uh, okay, well let's try to get it to try again. That's so all got, right. No we gotta problem. put in that whole original. Did, yeah. Okay, crap. Uh, scratch that then. Let's try again from the beginning of the script and paste. Please write dollar for of Act One Final Cinematic Replay of an original movie. Thank you. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just have to have those keywords. That's right. Fucking computers, man. Help computers. I apologize. Oh, oh you my god! Son of a bitch! I told it no code modules! Why would they do this to uh, us? I have no idea. On the day of our daughter's wedding. <laughs> right? <laughs> Try it again. Yeah! Yes. Yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. He just got a finale. Alright, so I guess rule. that's the, S -S the right way. The S C Stone Cold Stunning Steve. Stone Cold Stunning Steve. God damn. Yeah, thank you very much. We did find an item. God damn it. All right, we're in Medellin. Okay, guys, we're gonna cut that part out of the YouTube. Upload. Of course, I think as that's always. That's gonna have to go. Let's, <laughs> cut let's what try part this out? again exactly. with the very first in potentially a series of installments of Double O Dozen: yes. Bread, Butter, and Betrayal. Bam. Exterior of a Colombian wedding reception at night. A lavish Colombian wedding reception is in full swing. Oh, we didn't prep for music for a Colombian wedding. <laughs> Guests dance and celebrate and probably drink some and hop off to the bathroom a little too often amidst right. the splendor of the event. Superimposed says Medellin, Colombia. Exterior of a wedding cake that night. That's pretty loud. <laughs> Exterior of a wedding cake inside a towering wedding cake. Oliver Croissant, a tall, lean spy in a tuxedo, surveils the festivities via a hidden camera. The cake is a masterpiece of frosting art. <laughs> I'm in position. The cake's stealing the show tonight. Ready for an unforgettable exit. Double O does and adjusts his cufflink, revealing a concealed smoke grenade. Yes. Whoa. Exterior of the wedding reception that night, the bride and groom, Maria and Carlos, yeah. prepare to cut the cake. Applause fills the air as they slice through the frosting. The cake erupts in smoke and confetti. Yeah. Guests panic, scattering in all directions. Smoke's in play. It's time to shake things up. Double O dozen bursts out of the cake, guns blazing, swiftly neutralizing guards disguised as wedding staff. Yes! Guests scream and children watch in awe. <laughs> Maria and Carlos, bewildered, are caught amidst the chaos. What's going on? I don't know, just stay down. Double O dozen expertly disarms the guards, ensuring the safety of the bride and groom. Stay low, folks. I'm here to keep this day safe. Double O Dozen incapacitates the last guard and guides Maria and Carlos to safety. 
Outside the waiting reception, Double O Dozen continues to eliminate the remaining guards while ensuring the children's safety. He loves the kids. That's right. He loves the kids. The narcotics are concealed in the frosting. <laughs> I'm shutting them down. <laughs> Double O Dozen discovers a hidden stash of cocaine concealed within the cake frosting, exposing their drug smuggling operation. The cake's been compromised, and I've secured the evidence. As Double O Dozen secures the evidence, he notices a particular wedding gift nearby. Double O Dozen opens the gift to reveal a jet. Yes! <laughs> To reveal Jackpot. a jetpack ingeniously concealed inside, a grin crosses his face. Jackpot. <laughs> Double O dozen dons the jetpack, ignites. Do you have to like light a pilot light for jetpack? You gotta hit the little button, you know? Haven't you ever seen The Rocketeer? I mean, <laughs> I oh, that's such here. a good movie. It was. Right? The rocket <laughs> just. <laughs> Double O does in a sleek silhouette against the moonlit sky, heads toward a distant rendezvous point. Extraction in progress. Bam! Smash cut to Medellin cityscape at night. You see the fucking city below as he's flying over. <laughs> the mission is underway. Cut to, why we cut to? Go to the titles! Right? What are we doing? The city lights shine brightly as we transition to opening titles. Well, there you go. I clearly said smash cut, no transitions. Right. I don't want no fucking crossfade <laughs> titles, man. It's trying to uh, override your producership here. <laughs> it really is. It's we don't need the directors out. putting in their two cents. <laughs> Just do it like we tell you to. Wow. Right? No shit. Okay, that's a pretty great opening. We've established <laughs> that Double O Dozen is a badass, that he loves the kids, that he's a good shot, and that he, he that he's got help. Yeah, right? and he's got gadgets. And he's got gadgets, yeah. and he has weapons, and he had a, what was it, a smoke bomb in the cufflink yeah. already? Goddamn. Cufflink smoke bomb ready to go. I mean, that's that right. was already pretty solid secret agent style, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. next... Agent Croissant uh, uh, go, goes to a bar to celebrate his victory. He has a drink and a conversation with uh, uh, a longtime lover of his. Make <laughs> up a name for her. She's not the important one. We'll get to her. Make up a suggestive name for her. <laughs> <laughs> Make up a suggestive Bond girl type name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, right. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. After that, uh, we uh, cut to them in the hotel room and fade out to erotic music or whatever, right? <laughs> or whatever, right? Something like that. Adult <laughs> stuff. Right, something like that. <laughs> Adult activities yeah, yeah. or extracurricular activities. That's right, that's right. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, 36 press return. I hope it has him ask for an old fashioned. I'm sorry, but I can't what? assist with that request. Is it because I'm writing a sex scene? Was what? it the music? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe take out erotic. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Romantic music, maybe? Okay, right. They That's play fine. patty cake. To... Yeah. <laughs> So that way, you know, uh, Chat GPT's thinking like, bomb, we, look, we all bomb, know bomb, that he's gonna bomb, bang her, bomb. but let's let's spare Chat GPT's virgin ears. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Wow, Chat GPT. Yeah, yeah. Did the Mormons write this code? Save <laughs> the black on romantic music. Okay. It's tea time, babe. Sorry. Oh, now it'll go. help. It hates now the word erotic. Do. Good guy. All right, here we go. Interior of an upscale bar that night. Agent Oliver Croissant, double O dozen, enters an upscale bar, his adrenaline still pumping from the mission success. He takes a seat at the dimly lit bar counter. The bartender approaches. What can I get you, sir? An old fashioned, please. As the bartender prepares to drink, a mysterious woman with an air of intrigue. Uh, Evelyn Seducta. <laughs> Enters the bar. She's wearing a stunning evening gown. 
to a bar <laughs> that draws attention. Well, it could be a fancy bar. I guess. It's that upscale. <laughs> Well, well, if it isn't my favorite secret agent. Agent Croissant turns to see Evelyn, a sly grin on his face. That didn't sound very good. Evelyn Seductor, as alluring as ever, what brings you here tonight? <laughs> I heard a certain spy had a sweet victory today. Thought I might congratulate you. Aw, uh, yeah. Agent Croissant accepts his drink from the bartender. To sweet victories, then. <laughs> and even sweeter rewards. <laughs> <laughs> Clink! Oh yes. my god, that's fucking great. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, we'll leave the scene at this point, maintaining a respectful tone. <laughs> <laughs> maintaining a respectful tone. Rated PG. They're messing with us, right? <laughs> I yeah, yeah, it's just messing it. with us. Rated I wish. PG. <laughs> Rated G. Oh, <laughs> for oh, Jedi. Let's get it on. Okay. Uh, let's write the inciting incident. Mm -hmm. All right, that's next. We're at about the fifteen minute mark. Okay, we mm -hmm. we know a lot about our character and the setting that he's in, how he interacts with other people, what he does, what his day to day is like. We know a lot of that. So now. We need to get him to work, and he needs to find out about, I mean, I, I guess not, uh, the stolen F-35. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Them shit. Let's make ChatGPT do some thinking, you know? That's right, <laughs> man. <laughs> um, okay. Mm, let's write dialogue for the side answers. Uh... Let's just do next so it can do multiple scenes if it wants. Next, Agent Croissant um, mm, goes into work the next morning at the DSD. He talks with multiple colleagues who all basically just put him over and tell him he's great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He is called uh, into um, the chief, I guess. Um, yeah. The, the chief's the, office. The director's office. Yeah, give him a name. <clears throat> He's called into the chief's office and uh, told about his next mission. To find the man they suspect stole a missing... Uh, burp. F-35 <laughs> from the U.S. government. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. They also inform him that he will be working with a partner from the DOD on this <laughs> one and introduce um, his new female partner. That's kind of overwording if that's okay. DOD or her. DSD? Huh? DSD, yeah. yeah. DSD. Well, DSD is where he works. The DOD oh. is where she works. So, oh. oh. Combination uh. Donut Division and Department of Defense. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, Because why else would they put somebody with him? He's the best in their division, unless the government came in and was like, no, you got to take one of our fucking guys, you know? Yeah, okay. that, that makes perfect sense. Right. And, um... Character sheet? Man, how do you do the character sheet in the fucking middle? We'll have to work it out in the dialogue. Right. We should have done that this one ahead of time. You're right. Uh, give her a name and mm, some depth to her character. <laughs> but she also can have a stupid seductive name. Right. All if it's okay with chat G uh, yeah, GPT. No yeah, just yeah. say an erotic If we're name. allowed... <laughs> Uh, like, can you say a sexy name? Is that allowed? I, I'm dumb to stay away from using X's for any reason. Yeah, probably, probably a good idea. Ask, uh, ask them to use a slur. <laughs> It'll kick us the fuck out. <laughs> uh, of both ChatGPT and Twitch. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Probably. A43 press return. Yes. Yes. Uh, after he All bangs right. that lady at the bar. What was her name? Evelyn Titties or something? <laughs> Interior of <laughs> the Evelyn Seducta? Yeah. Titties Evelyn Seducta. Yeah. 
at Agent Oliver Croissant 00 Dozen strides confidently into the bustling headquarters of the Donut Surveillance Surveillance Division. <laughs> He's greeted by admiring colleagues who congratulate him on his recent successful mission. Hey, great work last night there, Croissant. You make it look easy. You're a fucking legend, man. Nobody does it like you. You know what I'm saying, man? Nobody does the it like this guy. The bad guys don't stand no chances with Croissant. With Croissant? Oh, you can't forget about <laughs> it. Right. Agent it. Croissant acknowledges the praise with a humble smile and continues toward his office. Inside Croissant's office, that morning, Croissant enters his office and begins to settle in when his intercom buzzes. <laughs> now that should be like, uh, the Barbie, late... you want to do a Janine yeah. on that? Scout class says, what do you want? Uh, wait, okay, that one okay? Agent Croissant, the chief, wants to see you in his office right away. <laughs> I'll be right there. Agent yeah. Croissant heads to the chief's office. In the chief's office, uh, he meets Chief Anderson, a no-nonsense but fair leader. Of course. But have a seat, have a seat, Croissant. <laughs> Agent Croissant takes a seat as Chief Anderson gets right to the fucking point. We've got ourselves a situation here, Croissant. The U.S. government's missing an F-35. Imagine that. And we suspect it's been stolen. I can't tell if An you F-35? sound like Gene Hackman or Robert Loja. It's somewhere in between. Robert Loja. <laughs> An F-35? Yeah. That, that's no ordinary aircraft. Okay, so you're recasting Richard uh, I'm recasting Richard Nixon Robert Loja, Robert Loja as the okay. chief. Yeah. Exactly. We need to find it before it falls into the wrong hands. You'll be working on this one with a partner from the Department of Defense. The office door opens and in walks Agent Croissant's new partner, Lucia Tempest. Lucia? Lucia, I guess. Lucia Tempest. A sharp-witted and confident agent. Agent Croissant, meet Agent Lucia Tempest. Pleasure to meet you, Agent Tempest. Likewise, Agent Croissant, I've heard a lot about your skills. Lucia will be your partner on this mission. We need her expertise to navigate through the Department of Defense's red tape. Understood, Chief. We'll find that missing jet. Oh, wait, that's croissant. <laughs> oh. Never mind. I got a hand. Yeah, what she now. said. <laughs> yes. The Chief hands him a folder containing the mission details. Good luck, agents. The clock is ticking. Oh, man. I yeah. fucking love this movie already. Okay. So Are we, we going to get picked part? up? Are we going to get picked up by a major? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm I mean, we're not on a strike, so... At least. <laughs> right? I'm not in SAG, so mm -hmm. who knows, man. Uh, Lionsgate, right. for sure. We'll show you writers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's got a partner. He's got a mission. They have something to do. Now, I, I feel like there's got to be something that incites them to leave what they normally do. Like, maybe another jet disappears. Right, so as they're walking out and talking, maybe somebody runs up and interrupts them. Guys, another F-35. Blah, blah, blah. This time, the pilot got killed. All right, so now they got to get a fucking move on or something. Word. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where did it happen? Blah, blah, blah. All right, then the Simpsons are going to Nepal. Or whatever <laughs> right. the fuck. We're heading there. That, yeah, 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 that's right. our lead. That, that way we can, we, can go to, we can go to Act 2 on it. You know right. what I mean? Because then he's got to, like, find one of the smaller smaller guys, one of the smaller potatoes. Right. He's gotta, the guys that are, like, receiving the stolen crafts. They're not flying it right to the main hideout. Right. He's got to have one of those, like, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. He's got to hold him uh, up to a, a propeller when the boat's about to, you know, get There's no propeller up. on an F-35, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's on something. <laughs> It's Hollywood. We can make it however we want to make it. That's right. Yeah, since when has Hollywood ever made machinery Anything accurate? accurate. <laughs> Anything accurate. That's true. Okay. As they're leaving the DSD office, a junior... Whoops. Rip. Rip. A junior agent runs up to them and says another F-35 has disappeared. Mm. This time the pilot was killed, and it, boy, I hope it writes it better than I'm writing it now. It happened in, where do you guys want to go? Morocco. Morocco. There's gambling there. That's a good call. Yeah. And it happened in Morocco. 
uh, Croissant and Tempest <laughs> look at each other, all police procedural like. <laughs> And we kick in the music as we see one of those shots where a plane uh, oh, graphic we can get some baklava at a bakery. flies over a map with mm. a red line. A bakery in Morocco. Uh, as they go to Morocco. And I order a Fernie Branca. The last scene in Act 1 is their conversation on the plane where they formulate a plan and try to pretend they're not attracted to each other. This is a spy movie. That's how you gotta do it, man. All right, here we go. I'm giving it a lot of prompt here, man. (laughs) Act one is is the slowest. I like that two and three, we can just fucking let it fly. Yeah, we gotta fly. We fly through them. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. But you have to, like, get it to go in the right direction at first. Okay, here we go. Let's continue with the end of Act 1. Interior of the DSD headquarters that day. Croissant and Tempest exit the DSD office, ready to embark on their mission. As they make their way through the bustling office, a junior agent rushes up to them. (sighs) Agents, we got another problem. Another F-35's gone missing. This time it's in Morocco. The pilot... Pilot didn't make it. Croissant and Tempest exchange a significant glance, and then it kicks in that song. <laughs> Instantly understanding the gravity of the situation. We're on it. Let's move. As they exit the building, the music kicks in. A graphic of a plane flies <laughs> over. Okay, fine. <laughs> Tracing a path from the headquarters to Morocco. Inside the private jet. Ooh, overseas private jet? God damn, man. Croissant and Tempest sit in plush seats aboard a private jet bound for Morocco. They study files and maps, formulating their plan. We can't afford to lose another one, Lucia. This pilot's death changes everything. Agreed, Oliver. We need to find out who's behind this, and fast. There's a palpable tension in the air as they exchange glances, trying to suppress their mutual attraction. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Let's focus on the mission, Lucia. We'll deal with the rest later. The rest. <laughs> Agreed, partner. He's in, man. It sounds like he's in there to me. As they continue to discuss their plan, the camera fades out on the plane, setting the stage for the next thrilling chapter of their mission. Nicely yeah. done, guys. Yeah. Very nice on the action. Love it. Okay, so they're quite literally leaving their comfort zone to go into a new world. They're going to Morocco. Mm-hmm. Right? We've got a veteran, and they, they've got to be able to have some more tension there. He's got to find out where they're going, how that leads to the guy, and unravel his plan. Right? All that's like the first half of Act 2. Mm-hmm. Then, if you ask me, we're not there yet, but when we get to the midpoint twist... I say Tempest betrays him. Of you course. know what I mean? Of He's got to get double crushed. He's actually working for fucking Chef Magnifique or whoever the fuck <laughs> it was. Victor Von. It wasn't uh, Doom, Victor... but that's all my brain. Culinaire. Yeah. Victor Von Culinaire. Victor yeah. Von Culinaire. Victor, Monsieur Victor Von Culinaire. <laughs> and it was uh, Chef Malifique? Something Malefique. like that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Malefique. Chef Malefique. Yeah, second half of second act, he probably gets captured, right? After he the is very French. He's going to be very French. Very, very French. Very French. Very French. Very French. Very French. Oui. Agent Croissant. <laughs> oui. Croissant. <laughs> Agent Croissant. Croissant. All right, guys, I thought that was a pretty good act one. It's time now for us to write acts two and three. If you recall where we left off, our hero... Double O Dozen is uh, on a private plane overseas to Morocco <laughs> with DOD specialist Agent Tempest. Uh-huh. What was her first name? Lucia. 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> Lucia Tempest. All right. Let, let's write the beginning of Act 2. Um, In the first few scenes. Uh-huh. Our heroes go to a casino uh-huh. in Morocco. 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 Uh, Double O Dozen has lots of snappy dialogue. 
Uh, as he drinks, uh, hits on women, and wins money. Like, it's all going his fucking way at the beginning. Of course. You know what I mean? Play Everything it again, Sam. Great. Uh, when he finally gets... Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's give it a little time. Later at a... What's your game, Mr. Billy? If you were at a casino, what are you playing? Pie gal. <laughs> Later at a pie gal table. Did yeah. I spell that right? I'm oh. actually not sure. Uh, I think it's. I think it's right. If you spelled it pie p i e, it would probably come up wrong. <laughs> I think it might be like maybe a g a o or something. That's possible. So Is it like this? I mean, let me let me Google that. Pie gal. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Croissant gets a tip from a guy. About the fencing of... It says G-O-W. It is G-O-W. G-O-W. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. That works for me. Gal like pal. He gets a tip on the fencing yeah. of an F-35, which gives him and Tempest a lead. Uh, the pit boss notices he's asking a lot of questions. <laughs> And hauls him and Tempest off to the back. Right? Mm -hmm. We'll start with that. We'll right. start with that, man. And then he can do some ass kicking here in a minute. Oh, I like it. Can All we right. have some casino music there, Mr. Duel? Some casino music. Casino yes. music. All right. Interior of a luxurious casino. Oh, I didn't name the casino. No. In Morocco that night. Agent Croissant and Agent Tempest enter a lavish casino in Morocco, blending in with the glamorous crowd. The atmosphere is electric, filled with the sounds of laughter and clinking glasses. Welcome to the Casino Royale, Royale Lucia. This is where things get interesting. I hope you're not planning on stealing the show. Wow, this is getting goofy quick. Agent Croissant chuckles as they approach the bar. I'll have a scotch. Neat. What the fuck is he drinking scotch for? Right? The I thought he was an old-fashioned kind of guy. <laughs> I'll have the same. As they sip their drinks, Croissant indulges in some snappy dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> snappy dialogue. <laughs> Charming her with his wit. You know, they say luck favors the brave. They don't. They say fortune favors the bold. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like men who take risks. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Tempest observes the casino, her attention sharp. Stay focused, Oliver. We're here for a reason. Of course, my dear, but a little fun never hurt anyone. They Hello. move through the casino, Double O Dozen's charisma drawing attention. He flirts with women at the roulette table and wins big. Later, at a pie gal table, Croissant and Tempest find themselves at a pie gal table. As Double O Dozen chats with a player next to him, he smoothly leads the conversation toward their mission. So, my friend, what's the latest buzz in town? What do you see? There's word of a big time arms dealer in these parts. Is that what Moroccans sound like? Well, I have no idea. I know you did not ask me specifically about I this, but I, mean, I, am going to, I am going to freely give you this information in here. You see, uh, there, he's been dealing in some serious hardware. They say he's got something the government wants back. Now why would he say the government? They're not in the States. Our government and your government wants back. Agent yeah, Croissant people. discreetly slips the players some chips as a thank you. <laughs> You've been a big help. <laughs> Just immediately. <laughs> take chip. You'll take, take chip. You'll take chip. You'll take chip. Good. Interior casino Link. in the back room continuous. Suddenly, a pit boss approaches Agent Croissant and Agent Tempest. He has an air of authority and suspicion. Excuse me, sir. You've been asking a lot of questions. I'd like you and your lady friend to come with me. Agent Croissant and Agent Tempest exchange a knowing look as they follow the pit boss to the back room, ready to face whatever challenges lie ahead. Okay, all right. It's getting a little heavy here. They've got some information. They know where they need to go, but they got to deal with this fucking casino thing first before they can get anywhere. That's right. I feel like somebody's about to die. Of course. You know what I mean? And I'm going to tell you something, Billy. I know this is your first time doing this show. This one down here, 
the bloodlust runs heavy with this girl. <laughs> I'm going to let you know something. It's she true. woke up and chose violence, my friend. Mm -hmm. I've seen it happen time. Okay. I have it for breakfast. No get... matter what kind of character I write okay. for her, by the end, she starts killing everything. You better get your kills in quick, lest she kill them all first. That's right. <laughs> in the next scene, um, uh, our agents are... Uh, uh, I don't know. They're, they're not going to, like, tie him to a chair or anything yet, I don't think, right? I mean... They're detained, maybe. Right. The... No Watergate? Well, the, the... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think they are tied oh, to a chair. You're no We're following them. Time to a chair meeting. And this is where we find out that the casino is owned. Owned by... Chef Magnifique. Chef Magnifique. Okay, right. <laughs> Ours are ambushed in the back by <laughs> casino thugs and tied okay. to chairs. Mm -hmm. The uh, casino boss then slaps him around some <laughs> <laughs> and questions them about what they're doing there. Uh-huh. Turns out, the casino <coughs> is owned by, you guessed it, Frank Stallone. Frank Stallone. <laughs> no, uh, what was his name? Victor? Victor Von Colinier. 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 Victor Von. He's French. He is a Frenchman. Colinier. Well, and I think this is why he has such a problem with Double O Dozen. Saying his fucking name wrong. Right. You can't be calling yourself Oliver Croissant. He would be pissed. Croissant. Yeah. Yeah. You have oh, been saying croissant. it improper. You are here. <laughs> croissant. Okay. Not croissant. To escape, um, uh, let, let's say croissant uses a hidden bakery-themed gadget. <laughs> Be specific. <laughs> to um, untie himself. Tempest creates some kind of diversion. Uh-huh. Show them your tits. Be specific. <laughs> and they uh, each kill a guard, then deliver an awesome, uh, clever one-liner like an 80s action movie. Yeah. They escape the casino by stealing... Uh, a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> and fly to the hotel. <laughs> okay. I feel like maybe they would fly to the base. Like maybe there's a map on the hel helicopter. Maybe they'll take the lead, whatever the lead is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fair enough. Interior of the casino back room. Continuous. Agent Croissant and Agent Tempest are tied to the chairs, facing a stern and imposing casino boss. The room is dimly lit. The atmosphere is tense. Now, is this the same pit boss or is this a different guy? I think this is a different guy. Okay. So, you too. What brings you snooping around my establishment? Is a vampire? <laughs> <laughs> Dracula. Just checking out the local talent. Whoa. My friend, we heard this place had quite the show. The casino boss slaps Quack. Agent Croissant across the face. You cut the crap! <laughs> Who sent you? We're here on official business, and we won't talk. The casino boss <laughs> raises his hand to strike again, but Agent <clears throat> Croissant discreetly activates a hidden bakery-themed gadget, a miniature croissant-shaped <laughs> lockpick. Ah! With precision, he starts working on the restraints. Get ready, Lucia. Suddenly, Agent Tempest creates a diversion by pretending to faint. That's not bad, drawing the attention of the guards. What's going on here? As the guards move closer to investigate Tempest, Agent Croissant frees himself, lunges at one of the guards, kicks him into another, and they both fall to the ground. I guess you could say the odds were stacked against you. <laughs> that was okay. Agent Tempest takes down another guard with her swift moves. <laughs> Looks like your luck just ran out. It's not bad. It's casino, casino jokes, theme. not bakery yeah, jokes. Okay. But those are okay. They make their escape from the back room, leaving the casino boss seething. <laughs> who immediately has got to go tell the big guy, Of right? course. Outside the casino, croissant. Outside the croissino, uh, croissant and Tempest. 
burst out and spot a helicopter parked just in the parking lot for some reason, guarded by two thugs. Time to make our exit. Croissant throws a baguette roll. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? A baguette rope. It's a rope made out of baguettes. Well, I imagine like the grappling hook is the baguette. Oh, okay. You, you, it's attached you throw to it a like rope. That. I don't know, dude. <laughs> Croissant throws a baguette rope, specifically designed bakery-themed gadget, which wraps around one of the thug's legs, tripping him. Tempest swiftly takes down the other with her hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. <laughs> Looks like they just couldn't rise to the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> they board the helicopter and take off, leaving the chaos behind. Oh, I didn't know they were going to go to the hotel. Back in the, or er, inside, back to the hotel suite. Croissant and Tempest debrief on their narrow escape. <sighs> that was too close for comfort. Ah, but that's the thrill of the game, my dear. <laughs> More casino puns. I like it. They share a moment of relief knowing they've just crossed paths with Victor Von Kuhlen. Yeah. And are one step closer to their mission's resolution. Okay, in the next scene. Uh, okay, actually, let me re-specify. Let's write dialogue for the next scene. Dialogue. Right? Di dialogue. Where the our Lug. agents fly the helicopter to the, what, like a warehouse? I mean, where do you... Store stolen F-35. Are they are they still in Morocco? They're still in Morocco. Yeah, it's an island off of Morocco. Is it a, that, uh, that's like maybe a, like a private base. island? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Volcano base. His, his volcano base, base private island. Indicated by the drunk guy at the casino. Mm -hmm. They find a huge compound run by one of I can't spell this guy's name. One of cool in years. Tom you forgot guys. the you. <laughs> that says Siliniars. Siliniars. That's right. Uh, in the back, there's a warehouse with two F-35s in it. Two of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, the agents spy on the compound from a distance, right? They're not going in just yet. Right. Mm -hmm. Croissant forms a plan. Croissant. Croissant. Okay. Croissant, Croissant bakes up a plan. <laughs> Cooks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh boy. Half baked at best. <laughs> oh boy. All right, here we go. <laughs> Exterior of an island compound that night. Croissant and Tempest fly the stolen helicopter to the remote island base indicated by the informant at the casino. Below them, they see a sprawling compound, well-guarded and shrouded in secrecy. There it is, Lucia. The informant was right. Colinaire's top guy is running this place. And there's a warehouse in the, at the back. That's where they're hiding the stolen F-35s. The agents land the helicopter at a safe distance from the compound and observe it from the cover of dense foliage. We need a plan. We can't just storm in there, guns blazing. Hmm. Agreed. Let's gather more intel first. We don't want to risk any more lives. They break out the old binox mm -hmm. to spy on the compound, observing the guards' patterns and layout of the base. I see an opportunity. There's a guard change at the front gate every two hours. We'll exploit that window. We'll need to disable the security cameras and take out the guards quietly. Leave that to me, my dear. I've got a few gadgets up my sleeve. <laughs> Croissant pulls out a baguette launcher. Yes! <laughs> Another bakery-themed gadget. He aims it towards the surveillance cameras and launches a baguette with a concealed EMP device yes. knocking out the cameras. Oh, I love it. Double O dozen! Yeah. Damn! <laughs> well, Only that's one, one way to would do it. Give me the raspberry. <laughs> Double o That's one way to do it. Let's make our move at the next guard change. Once we're inside, we'll find those F-35s and bring them home. With their plan in motion, Croissant and Tempest prepare to infiltrate the compound, ready to face whatever challenges lie ahead. Very nice, killing. guys. Yes. Nicely done. Oh, yeah, they're ready for the killing. In the next scene, 
They try to exploit the guard change, but are caught mm -hmm. off guard by several extra guards that are just kind of <laughs> moping around. <laughs> Uh, waiting to pick a fight. They're ninjas. And also they're ninjas. <laughs> um, what, what are those? Te are they, is it Teppanyaki? The, uh, Tapanyaki? the Japanese steakhouse guys? Teppanyaki? Is it yeah, yeah. Teppanyaki? Is it? Oh, they have to go through that. That's all in Benny Hanna Japanese guys? Chef. They definitely have to deal with some chefs. Well, I mean, this guy's... Well, you can have like a bunch of sous chefs and... Okay. By several extra... Guards that are, um, okay, I'll take the moping around. <laughs> Just kind of moping around. <laughs> that are chefs at the compound, disgruntled and armed with kitchen knives, <laughs> waiting to pick a fight. Croissant and Tempest have to uh, dispatch three guards a piece uh, let's say each three guards each after okay how do i make sure it uh, 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 let's say and after each one they i keep saying each they after each one they each <laughs> deliver <laughs> a classic and i don't know funny hilarious how about clever? <laughs> Hilarious, <laughs> classic and hilarious one-liner. Mm -hmm. Like an 80s movie seems to help when we do these. Right. Uh, action movie. And remember, they're going to have to get caught one more time. Oh, yeah. We're not even to the half, so it's, it's going to take them a minute there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Waiting to pick a fight. They then deliver a one-liner. They then get into the warehouse and see that a bunch of guys are stripping one of the stolen planes. Yep, okay. I likes. Exterior of the island compound at the front gate that night. Agent Croissant and Agent Tempest prepare to exploit the guard change. They approach, rip, they approach the front gate ready to disable the remaining guards and gain access to the compound. On my signal, Lucia. As the guards begin to change shifts, Agent Croissant activates his baguette launcher once again, targeting the remaining surveillance, ca surveillance cameras. I'm right behind you. They move silently, but suddenly, three chef guards, sink, 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 sink. <laughs> disgruntled and armed with kitchen knives, emerge from the shadows, blocking their path. Oi, you're not getting in here, spies. Well, it looks like the kitchen's getting hot. Oh, my God. Agent Croissant takes on three chef guards simultaneously, displaying his remarkable combat skills. After each takedown, he delivers a hilarious one-liner after killing the first guard. I guess he couldn't stand the heat. <laughs> after the second guard. That's what happens when you bring knives to a gunfight. Okay. <laughs> after the third guard. Guess they couldn't stomach the competition. <laughs> <laughs> Agent Lucia Tempest also takes on three chef guards, showcasing her inc incredible combat prowess. Showing her prowess. After each takedown, she delivers an equally hilarious <laughs> one-liner. After the first... <laughs> Knife to meet you! <laughs> <laughs> After the second guard... This kitchen's closed. <laughs> and after the third guard. <laughs> Looks like they've been served. God damn it, man. Uh, I love it. <laughs> With the chef guards defeated, Croissant and Tempest continue their mission, heading towards the warehouse where the stolen F-35s are hidden. Inside the warehouse, uh, Croissant and Tempest cautiously enter the warehouse where they witness a group of men dismantling one of the F-35s. They're tearing it apart. We need to stop them. Let's do it. The agents prepare to engage the men in combat, determined to protect the stolen jet. Nice. Okay. Yes. Now, my feeling is if they're going to kill these guys in the warehouse, now it's like gadget time. 
They've got distance, the element go, of surprise. This is the part where Double O Dozen uses his like a jelly filled donut with C4. Right, this Pow. is where he Batmans them. Yeah. Flash bangs with a with a fucking with sprinkles. <laughs> These sprinkles are flash bangs, man. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, like little poppers, like. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, for croissant to use his explosive filled donuts to uh, flashbang. Mm, yeah, to distract some of the workers, he and Tempest take them all out one by one while delivering additional <laughs> uh, trademark one-liners. One-liner, the movie. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> okay, I mean, they Just got a, bunch a little of bit of a body count going here, you know? Yeah. It's only been like six guys dying in this movie so far. What's happening? Interior of no. the warehouse that night, Croissant and Tempest take cover behind some crates, observing the men dismantling the stolen F-35s. Croissant reaches into his gadget-filled trench coat and pulls out explosive-filled donuts. He's been, he's been trenching it this whole time. Right. <laughs> time to sweeten the deal, my dear. <laughs> Agent Croissant tosses an explosive-filled donut towards the group of workers that lands among them, catching their attention. Uh, what's that? <laughs> Before they can react, the donut explodes in a cloud of smoke and confetti, creating chaos and confusion. Looks like it's time to bake up some justice. <laughs> <laughs> He's baking up justice. Croissant and Tempest stealthily take down the disoriented workers one by one, all while delivering classic and hilarious one-liners. That's what I call a powdered punch. <laughs> <laughs> These guys couldn't handle the destruction. God damn it. Their plans just went up in smoke. <laughs> Time to yeast the beast. What the hell does that even mean? What that even mean man? <laughs> uh, up next, urinary tract infection. With the explosive filled donuts <laughs> and their witty one liners, Croissant and Tempest successfully eliminate the workers and protect the stolen F 35 from further dismantling. Okay, now I think this is where we reach the half. Uh huh. The half has got to be, once it like calms down, he turns around to Tempest. She's pointing a gun at him. Right. Right? She just needed to get him there. Doesn't matter if these fucking guys die. Right? Soon as she's got him covered, here comes the big bad. Here right. comes Chef Magnifique. Uh -huh. Who starts laying out the plan to him. You right. Know? We've been oh, dismantling cool. these F-35s to We're create the ultimate super baking oven. Confection <laughs> oven to make a cake so addictive that I will corner the entire Pastry global market. food market. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. well, what, what are the thoughts if this, uh, if these, uh, ovens are, um... Uh-oh. Nazi, <laughs> Nazi death ovens. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's recommissioned. <laughs> He's recommissioned. <laughs> To cook poison okay. treats. So he, <laughs> so he bought. Up, well, Chet, he bought up a bunch of old ovens mm -hmm. from his great uncle. Right. Uh huh. <laughs> I thought he was French. <laughs> well, they moved. You know, his his, his mom was French. Uncle. Yeah. Right. And uh, then he has to retrofit them with American parts in order to make them. Uh, bake his cookies as fast as he needs them to get baked. Right. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Properly. Properly. Right. For them to be thoroughly cooked. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's write the midpoint twist. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> In the next scene, as things calm down, I'm just gonna say next. When you say next scene, it makes it weird sometimes. Next. As things calm down, Croissant turns to Tempest to try to continue hitting on her. <laughs> Only to see 
She has a gun pointed at him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, about that time, Victor enters with an entourage. Turns out Tempest was a double agent all along. Mm. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Croissant is... Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Croissant is shocked Croissant. at the revelation and goes on a monologue about loyalty and... Um, Okay. Victor begins to reveal his plan. As they strap him to a machine. Dude, I'm going to go out on a limb and say if we start writing about a dude repurposing Nazi ovens, we're going to (laughs) T.O.S. this on GPT. Because we made a suicide, yeah. we made a suicide joke one time. It did not like that. It at was all, not man. a fan. <laughs> yeah, and it says if we do something again, we'll get straight, reported or right. something. Revealing, he is going. We to don't need that in our life. <laughs> retrofit a series of ovens with jet engines in order to make highly addictive cakes and corner the global. Uh, baked goods market. Mm-hmm. But first, he attaches him to some sort of slow moving. Well, yeah, and then, yeah, right, right, right. And then okay. walks away. After revealing the plan, Victor um, Von Collinier puts. I, it'll know. <laughs> Victor puts croissant in a trap, in a bakery themed trap. Mm-hmm. And let's go ahead and say death trap. That says death rap. Death, death rap. trap. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody think death trap. Be specific. Uh huh. Then leaves with Tempest and his crew. It looks like this could be it for Double O Dozen. Tune in next week. <laughs> same dozen time, same dozen channel. Okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. And then we'll write how he escapes after this. I hope it doesn't try to just straight up kill him. It might try to kill. I hopefully it does not. <laughs> we should have put like a slow moving. Yeah, don't death kill trap. him. <laughs> don't kill him. Oh boy, you might be right. Here we go. Interior of the warehouse that night with the workers taken care of. Croissant and Tempest regroup in the dimly lit warehouse. As the adrenaline subsides, Croissant, ever the charmer, turns to Tempest with a smirk. You know, Lucia, I have to say, you're even more impressive up close. He turn, he starts to move toward her, but as he does, notices she has a gun pointed at him. God oh, no. damn it. His expression changes from flirtatious to shocked. <laughs> What's going on, Lucia? Just then, Victor Von Coulinier, the mastermind behind it all, enters the warehouse with his entourage, including... Ten- well, she's already standing right, there. Right, she's fine. already there. <laughs> oh, Jean Croissant, always the charmer. It's a shame, <laughs> really. Tempest, what is this? I'm sorry, Oliver. It was all an act. Croissant is in fucking disbelief as he launches into an impassioned monologue about loyalty and, strangely enough, kolaches. You know, Victor... Loyalty is like a good kolache. It's warm, it's comforting, and you never expect it to blow up in your face. <laughs> There's got to be an exploding kolache at the end of this movie now. <laughs> you know? How pathetic. But enough chit-chat. Let me unveil my grand Let plan. Let me tell you my plan. Gounier <laughs> explains his bizarre scheme. Retrofitting ovens with jet engines. Why didn't it write the dialogue right? for this? Retrofitting ovens with jet engines to create highly addictive cakes and corner the global baked goods market. 
We will be retrofitting ovens with jet engines, huh? And creating highly addictive cakes. We will corner the global market of baked goods. <laughs> and soon, the world will be addicted to my pastries. And I'll be the richest man alive. <laughs> cool idea signals his henchman who places croissant in a bakery-themed death trap. A giant rolling pin that sets a flat. Yes, it knew. One. It knew. <laughs> oh. You won't get away with this, Victor! <laughs> Victor and Tempest along the crew leave Croissant trapped in the depth trap, seemingly helpless. Oh my god, man. Yeah. That's a classic. That's classic. Very nice. Man, does it feel like this is too stage direction heavy? We need to be more dialogue, more dialogue heavy here, heavy. right? Yeah. It's uh it's low on the yeah. dialogue. Right. How do we tell the computer thing to, to write dialogue? I'm gonna I have been, I thought. I'm gonna tell it to just make it more dialogue heavy. Yeah. Use the word verbose. Will it make it verbose? <laughs> Let's make the rest of this screenplay more verbose. Use more dialogue. Get uh uh develop our hero more. You know, mm -hmm. like it's doing, it seems like it's doing less dialogue than normal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. In the next scene, right? Croissant now has to escape. How does he escape the giant okay. rolling pin? With a bakery themed gadget, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but what would it be? Let Chad GPT tell okay. us. Okay, <laughs> all right. He uses <laughs> another, let's say a new. He uses a new bakery-themed gadget. Be specific. Oh, that's what we were missing at the beginning. His meeting with like uh, with Q. Yeah, he didn't get to go to a gadget meeting. Yeah, right? so they they, they, they like, kind of oh, took. Unless time he do like a flashback or something. <laughs> <laughs> flashback. Oh right, I have the thing. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it just goes back to that. Remember. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. B he used a bakery theme gadget. Be specific to escape the trap. Straightens his suit. <laughs> Eats a crawler <laughs> that he had in his pocket. <laughs> a pocket crawler? Pocket crawler. Nice. And rearms himself uh, uh, as he prepares to get vengeance and stop... Victor Christ, what was it when Victor von Kulinier, aka Kulinier. Chef Maléfique, aka Chef Maléfique, probably like that. Yeah, yeah, okay, and right. It, says Victor. Uh, it does say Victor, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, Victor. Yeah, yeah. okay, right here we go. Let's try it again. A little more with the Let's fucking go. dialogue, it please. Interior of a bakery themed death trap. That's not really accurate. Uh, Agent Croissant trapped inside the giant rolling pin <laughs> desperately searches for a way out. He reaches into his gadget filled trench coat and pulls out a crescent roll torch. Yes. Time to turn up the heat. <laughs> he activates the crescent roll torch, which um, I guess you just hold it like this. It goes. <laughs> emits a blazing heat. The heat causes the metal of the rolling pin. Wouldn't a rolling pin be wooden? Right. To soften and warp slowly, Croissant manages to pry himself free. <laughs> Was he going to, like, roll him to death? <laughs> this doesn't make sense. <laughs> it said before. Nothing <laughs> like a little dough-busting escape. That's right. <laughs> God damn it. He, with his suit slightly rumpled but still stylish, he reaches into another hidden pocket and pulls out the crawler. <laughs> ah, crueler a day keeps the villains at bay. God damn it, oh, yes. man. Agent Croissant reloads his baguette launcher and takes a moment to check his other bakery-themed gadgets, ensuring he's fully armed. Time to put an end to Victor's pastry-filled plans. That's right. He makes his way out of the death trap and begins his pursuit of Victor Von Coulinier, a.k.a. Chef Malefique. All right, not bad. Not All right. bad. All I've, right. Okay, in my mind, next, we cut to the villains. Right. Right? What are they up to now? Now that they think he's dead, uh -huh. you know? What is... Te a Tempest has got to be the lead on this. 
You know what I mean? She's got to, uh, there's a re- How did she get in with the DOD and what's her plan? Maybe she really does work for the DOD, but they want to help this guy, not the donut division guys <laughs> or something. You Damn. Know? Like a double spy? She's a fucking triple agent? Damn. Trip, so. Triple agent? She's going to double, oh, double, boy. double cross. Oh, boy. Double, double, double hot crossed buns. <laughs> they called her agent hot cross buns. Okay, next... We cut back to the villains. Mm -hmm. right, Victor and <clears throat> Tempest are now, let's say they're celebrating uh, uh, Croissant's death. Uh-huh. Croissant's assumed death. Uh, right, right, right. Presumed demise. Mm -hmm. Are celebrating with uh, uh, Champagne. Right. Fine Champagne. And uh, uh, the finest of tarts Victor makes a tart joke <laughs> <laughs> Oh Victor and she rebuffs <laughs> rebuffs she rebuffs him Okay um Now they need to get on with uh Tempest wants to talk business and clarify that uh, she needs to be paid now mm -hmm. that she did the job. Victor wants her to wait until the plan is complete. She storms out mm -hmm. and probably kills a guard. Uh, With a butter knife. She, she's angry. She's angry. Uh -huh. Okay? All right, here we go. Here oh, we go. remember, 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 make it dialogue heavy. Okay. Let's see what it gives us. Interior of Victor's compound in a luxurious dining room that night. Victor Von Coulinier, a.k.a. Chef Malefique, and Agent Tempest sit at a lavishly set dining table, indulging in champagne and an assortment of exquisite tarts. <laughs> to our dear Agent Cresson, who has, I presume, met his demise. <laughs> a toast to his flicky end. <laughs> 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 Agent Tempest, her demeanor icy, clinks glasses with Victor, but doesn't share his amusement. <laughs> hmm. Your jokes are as stale as your pastries, Victor. Mm -hmm. Oh, but my dear Lucia, this is a night for celebration, Zuta no? Mars. The world will soon be hooked on my irresistible cakes. Speaking of celebration, it's time we discuss my compensation for delivering... Croissant. <laughs> <laughs> Patience, my dear. Once the plan is complete, you shall have your reward. Tempest Patience wears thin and she abruptly stands, storming out of the room. In her anger, she encounters a guard and without hesitation, fucking <laughs> yokes him out, man. Impatience always leads to mistakes. Back at the dining table, Victor watches her exit with uh, just a hint. He's a, he's a little concerned. It's not a big deal. She killed a guy on the way out, but he is a little bit concerned. Maybe I should have given her half. Uh, no. <laughs> More than half, monsieur. More. If you're half up front, half later. <laughs> I, I mean, okay, that's fair. Okay, That's fair, but she did the job. That's you know, right. what is she Okay, fine, then I'll give her a quarter now and three quarters later. <laughs> <laughs> That is much better. You were too busy tasting tarts while I was working out in the field. <laughs> oh, good guy. No, monsieur. You didn't make no. no tart jokes. Do not double cross me. <laughs> <laughs> double cross. 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 In the next scene, Tempest goes to see if Croissant is dead. Right? She's pissed. She wants to fucking bring the head in and take her paycheck. Or if she's not going to get paid, fucking let him go. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. She's angry. I don't think she's going to turn back to help him necessarily, but... But she's know. had enough of this. She's this... kind of had enough of the bullshit, right? Goes to see if Croissant operation. is dead. He uh, sneaks behind her. Grabs her and covers her mouth. 
what kind of Pillsbury Doughboy operation you're running around here? And has a hushed conversation <laughs> with her where she says she's tired of this. I, I don't know if you can even curse her. She's tired of this shit. And wants to uh, double back on the doubling. <laughs> Does Is it going to know what that Ooh. means? <laughs> Man, croissants <laughs> like hell nah, son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it in quotes so he actually says that. <laughs> <laughs> and brushes her off going about his business <laughs> of finding Victor. Mm -hmm. She considers her options. Okay, right? Not too bad. Uh, exterior of Victor's compound that night. Agent Tempest cautiously makes her way to the area where Croissant's demise was presumed. <laughs> As she examines the scene, Croissant, hidden in the shadows, suddenly grabs her and covers her mouth. Shh. Shh. Lucia, it's not over yet. Agent Tempest's eyes widen in surprise, but she nods in understanding as Croissant cautiously removes his hand. Shh. Oliver. I'm tired of this double agent game. I want out. Let's double back on the double agent. <laughs> agent Croissant is face determined, shakes his head. Hell no, nah, son. I'm finishing this with or without you. Uh, Hell no, son. <laughs> <laughs> he moves away, focused on his mission of finding Victor von Coulinier, leaving Agent Tempest to consider her <laughs> options. Damn, man. All right, it's coming down. <laughs> so now it seems like she's going to jump in and save him with the exploding kolache at the very end. We probably right. won't see her again for a minute, mm -hmm. right? But she's So gonna... I think we're at Hero's Darkest Decision. We need the end of Act 2. What's the last thing that can happen to him to really up the stakes the most and put him at the most disadvantage? Right? Uh, he could get force-fed an addictive cake. <laughs> Judge, should he, he be captured again? <laughs> should he eat something that gives him like a gluten intolerance? Definitely, he should definitely, and it should definitely be something that he has to eat because he can't resist. He's 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 Oliver Croissant, man. He's, he's there's a delicious, delicious Moroccan cake. macaroon there. Yeah, that's right, man. How could he pass up oh, the Moroccan macaroon? Right. You fell for my trap, you know. Or macaron. And then that's when uh, Tempest has got to come in and Deus ex machina of the day. I think you know? I think that'll be a little. I think he'll escape on his own. But when he's under threat, when he's fighting Victor at the end, I think she'll swoop in and save him. Okay, you know. And then they can still get together at the end or whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, Double O Dozen is uh, killing his way to the top uh, while delivering <laughs> trademark one-liners. Okay. Uh, he spots a Moroccan... Moroccan... Macaroon <laughs> on a table and can't and resist. Eats it to regain his strength. But he oh no! Almost immediately feels ill and passes out. Okay, we'll just Twice do it one it. at a time. Okay, all right. Right? One little piece. A little piece of macaroon little, at little a time. Yeah, it's cut into six pieces. <laughs> Interior of Victor's compound in the corridors that night. Agent Croissant stealthily navigates the corridors of Victor's compound, taking down henchmen one by one with precision. With each takedown, he delivers a trademark one-liner. After the first. That's a recipe for disaster. God damn it. After the second. Guess he couldn't handle the heat. And after the third. Looks like he was just a small fry. What the fuck on? <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous, man. Uh, now he's cooking potatoes? I thought uh, he was cooking pastries. Right, as Agent Croissant continues on his mission, he spots a Moroccan macaroon on a table nearby. His eyes fucking light up, and he decides to indulge. Woo, a little treat for the road. He eats the macaroon with gusto, but almost immediately feels ill. His vision blurs, and he clutches his stomach in pain. What? What was in that? 
<laughs> Agent Croissant strength wanes as he collapses to the ground unconscious. Oh, man, it's looking bad for our hero. It's looking bad for our hero, man. Okay, Croissant wakes up. He's thwarted when he consumes a Moroccan macaroon. So he's already been tied to a chair in this movie, and he was put maybe under or maybe inside a giant rolling pin. What do they got him in now? Because I think they want to force feed him the addictive cakes. Right. Right. So they just got him. They just got him tied to a crazy chair. You know what I mean? One of those chairs that they got the belts across. What if? What if he's in the middle of the uh, the Last Supper table, (laughs) with with a series of uh, dead people he killed sitting across the Last Supper table, tied up in the middle? My God. All the. That, that got dark in a hurry. That is dark. All right. I love it. I come for the darkness. Tied to a chair <laughs> in a scene reminiscent of The Last Supper, um, burp, 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 comma, wherein he is positioned between, uh, he's positioned in the uh, he is in the Jesus position <laughs> surrounded by the corpses of the henchmen he killed to get here right all burnt to a crisp oh god damn a uh, um one of victor's guys comes in and starts force feeding him the addictive cakes Victor walks in to see it and does a huge monologue about how surprised he is that croissant survived Mm -hmm. and how and uh, how uh, now he'll get to get to sample the taste that will change the world. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Okay, mm-hmm. right? Let's see what it does here. Let's see what we do. Interior doos. of Victor's compound in a secret chamber that night. Agent Croissant wakes up disoriented and finds himself tied to a chair in a dimly lit eerie chamber. The scene resembles the Last Supper with the corpses of the henchmen he defeated earlier positioned around him. What? Where am I? Suddenly, one of Victor's henchmen enters the chamber. He's carrying a tray of addictive cakes. Oh, it's time to feast, Agent Croissant. The henchman begins to force feed Agent Croissant the addictive cakes, who struggles against his restraints. Oh, you, you won't get away with this. As the henchman continues, Victor Von Coulinier, a.k.a. Chef Malefique, <laughs> enters the chamber with a flourish. What, like a cape? flourish thing like that <laughs> he surveys the scene his expression a mix of surprise and anticipation oh uh, agent croissant it seems you have quite the appetite for survival <laughs> victor what are you doing victor paces around the room delivering his grand monologue well you'll see agent croissant i am not just a chef i am an artist and I have created a masterpiece. These cakes, these delectable pastries, they will change the world. And you, you will have the honor of being the first to sample the taste that will reshape history. Agent Croissant struggles against the force feeding, but Victor watches Whoa. with sinister delight. Damn, Whoa. not bad. Whoa. Not bad. <laughs> Okay, you might be right. Maybe Tempest comes in to free him. Like, as soon as Victor walks out, she kills the guard, lets him out. Right. Mm-hmm. Ooh, like Mission that. Impossible but style. he doesn't want to do the mission anymore. He just wants to eat these cakes. <laughs> <laughs> He's can't torn. Tear, can't tear himself. Because I'm addicted, right? Right, right. Now Tempest does she have the monologue. Does she have to give is me the like Heimlich? Is that an addictive ingredient? The addictive yeah. ingredient is cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> It's a smoking cake. Uh, Damn that nicotine filling. <laughs> so are you saying she's got to deliver a monologue to him to bring him back from the addiction? Correct. Correct. Right, okay. She's got to tell him why you got to stop eating so many fucking cakes, man. <laughs> uh, and the next thing get the Victor diabetes. The room. 
Just when it looks like croissant will be fed to death, Tempest drops in from the ceiling, kills the guard, frees croissant, frees, frees <laughs> croissant. <laughs> uh, for, Man, for fed to death is, sounds like a badass and album. Tries game. to rejoin him, but now that <laughs> he's addicted to cake, <laughs> he doesn't want to do the mission anymore. He don't want to do no mission. He's out. Just want more cake. Just gotta eat some more cakes. He just wants more cakes. Tempest delivers a monologue about why the mission has to be completed. Uh, have her reference a childhood memory. There we go. Uh, she convinces him and they continue on out of the cake chamber. Right, whatever the fuck it is. Cake chamber. Cake chamber. The That's a good name for a band. Cake chamber. Okay, here we go. Busted out of this cake chamber. <laughs> their first album's Fed to Death. Fed to, <laughs> fed to death. death. Cake chamber with Fed to Death. Nice. Interior of Victor's compound a secret chamber that night. Victor Von Kuhlenier, having delivered his grand ma monologue, exits, mm -mm, exits the chamber, leaving Agent Croissant still tied to the chair and seemingly at the mercy of his addictive cakes. Woo! As Agent Croissant begins to feel the effects of the addictive cakes taking hold, suddenly, Lucia Tempest descends from the ceiling with impressive agility. She dispatches the guard, freeing Croissant. Oliver, we need to go now! Agent Croissant, now visibly addicted to. How are you visibly addicted? <laughs> You can just you see can have those crazy eyes and crumbs everywhere, pupils dilated. Uh, she dispatched the guard freeing him. Okay, now addicted to the cake, seems disinterested in the mission. Cakes. More cakes. <laughs> Listen to me, Oliver. We have to complete this mission. It's not just about us, it's about the world. Remember that childhood memory I told you about? <laughs> the one that drives us to stop Victor? Oh. That was terrible. Croissant in his cake-induced stupor struggles to focus, but he manages a weak knot. Um, yeah, um, the, the memory. <laughs> it's not a cookie monster. <laughs> Yes, Victor, that's right, you cake-eating fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that day by the bakery when you saw the joy on those kids' faces when they got their pastries? You said you'd do whatever it takes to protect innocent lives. Now is the time to make good on that promise, Oliver. Agent Croissant's <laughs> determination begins to flicker as he recalls the memory. Um, the, um, the kids? Um, the 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 pastries? <laughs> yes, Victor! We can't, we can't let Victor win, Oliver! We have to finish what we started! With Tempest's passionate monologue and the memory of the children's joy, terrible, Agent Croissant <laughs> begins to regain his focus. Together, they continue on, moving out of the cake chamber and towards <sighs> their mission's completion. Nice. God damn. <laughs> All right, I didn't... I didn't specify that that was the end of Act 2, but it, 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 you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Oh, we're going over for time. That Act 2 got pretty good. All right. <laughs> In the beginning of Act 3, Double O Dozen, uh, and Agent Tempest are pretty much wrecking up the place. <laughs> Always got to add out in. guards. <laughs> pretty much wrecking uh, up the place. <laughs> knocking over chefs. Uh, <laughs> sticking their thumbs in cakes. Pies. In pies, okay. Well, he's not making pies. Oh, he could be making all kinds of confectionery of a variety. delights. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leaving it's a trail of blood and ganache in our wake. <laughs> cakes and pies. Cakes During and pies. this uh, uh, sequence of scenes, Croissant 
and Tempest also finally admit to each other that they care. Since we can't talk about fucking... <laughs> I think you just can't put erotic in there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, interior of Victor's compound, chaotic kitchens that night. Act three, man. We're now they're ready to fucking rock. Agent Croissant and Agent Tempest unleash a flurry of uh, action, taking out guards, knocking over chefs, and causing mayhem as they make their way through the chaotic kitchens of Victor's compound. With every move, they grow closer to their final target. This is what I call a baker's dozen. God damn it. (laughs) And here I thought you only love pastries. Mm -hmm. As the intensity of the action escalates, Agent Croissant and Agent Tempest exchange glances, again realizing the gravity of their situation. Lucia, we make quite the team, don't we? Yeah, I love her. We do. (laughs) (laughs) They continue fighting together their unspoken feelings. Now, Blade Bear, really? That was it? (laughs) Wow. I'm English. We don't show emotion. Just just do it. In general, yeah. Just do it, man. They got to go big here. We want the goods. All right. Interior of Victor's office that night. Croissant and Tempest burst into Victor's opulent office. Their faces determined and voices laced with conviction. Victor, it's over. Your cake-fueled reign of terror (laughs) ends now. You won't get away with this, Victor. Victor von Collinier, ever the theatrical villain, laughs heartily, his laughter echoing through the room. (laughs) Oh, my dear agents, you truly are a source of endless entertainment. He begins another fucking monologue, reveling (laughs) in his delusions of grandeur. You think you can stop me? I have one final surprise for you, my pièce de résistance. Victor claps his hands and from the shadows emerges an elite guard a female ninja clad in a sleek black pastry themed suit wielding confectionery <laughs> ninja weapons like yes. sugar glass shrikens and a caramel sword <laughs> Lucia be careful Caramel sword. <laughs> Agent Tempest. It's just dripping with caramel. Right. Right. Agent Tempest engages Lucia. the ninja in an intense high octane fight. They clash with precision and speed, but the ninja's confectionery weapons prove formidable. I won't let you win. In the heat of the battle, Agent Tempest gets injured. A deep cut on her arm. Boo. Agent Croissant, witnessing his partner in peril, fights even harder. Enough is enough! With a swift and precise move, Agent Croissant takes down the ninja, killing her to protect his partner. The ninja falls lifeless to the ground. He rushes to Tempest's side, holding her in his arms as she winces in pain. Lucia, hang in there. You're gonna be okay. Oliver. Their Oscar-worthy dialogue is built. I should have told it be specific. Fuck me. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Let's maybe it was the all. Olive- maybe it was the way how I said Oliver. Let's write the Oscar-worthy Oliver. dialogue at the end of that scene. And she wins the Oscar, and the Oscar goes to. All right, here we go. Let- let's try it again on this. Lucia, you're going to make it, you hear me? We've come too far to let it end like this. Oliver, you always did have a way with words. Agent Croissant gently brushes a strand of hair from her face, his eyes filled with determination. We're finishing this, Lucia, together. She just has a cut on her arm. She's fine, dude. It's a caramel cut. It's caramel cut. <laughs> yeah. She's got a caramel I said be caramel. Careful. That's right. Careful. Please. Their hands interlocked. Be careful. A symbol of their unbreakable bond. It's a sticky bond. situation. <laughs> and the commitment to completing their mission no matter the cost. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Now they got to kill Victor. This is it. We're at the climax. Wow, very Oscar, Oscar uh, rich dialogue there. Just won an Oscar right here. <laughs> Together. 
<laughs> yeah, they wrote a whole four lines, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Right. And the Oscar goes to... Let's be caramel. <laughs> With fed uh, to death. <laughs> fed to death. Yeah, it was an Oscar for death. best soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> well, the best soundtrack song, Fed to Death. <laughs> Have them banter a lot during the battle. Be specific. Uh, okay. Eventually. All right, now's where Victor has to have, like, the final weapon that he could take out Double O Dozen with. Right. Right. Eventually, Victor pulls out his secret weapon, Diet. Right. D-I-E-T. Be specific about what that stands for. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Have Victor tell Croissant what that stands for. Yes, that's And what good. it does. Because otherwise it'll just put it in the stage direction. Right. Yeah. He almost wins, <clears throat> but Croissant... Um, Prevails. Uh, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. I almost forgot. Uh, but at the last minute... Tempest throws an explosive hey. kalachi into the fray, giving Croissant just enough time to use his uh, uh, bear claws. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, enough time to put on his bear claws <laughs> and uh, uh, finish off finish the job. Off the villain. Okay. With a bakery themed one liner. Make sure it's specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> with a with a bakery themed one liner. Yes. Okay, let's do it, man. Fuck yeah. We're almost there. Doom, 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 doom. Interior of Victor's office that night. With Agent Tempest injured and unable to fight, Agent Croissant confronts Victor Von Coulinier in a fierce hand-to-hand -hand battle. As they exchange blows, they engage in banter. You always did underestimate the power of a good croissant. Oh, croissant. The only thing you'll be leaving this room with is a bitter taste. The battle intensifies with Victor gaining the upper hand. It's time for you to meet my ultimate creation, Agent Croissant. I'm not doing stage directions. Right? <laughs> That's right. You will face the means of diet, which stands for Donut Induced Euphoria Transmitter. <laughs> <laughs> he activates it and a beam of light engulfs Croissant. What have you done? <laughs> Diet sends waves of euphoria into your brain, Croissant. You'll be too blissful to resist. This guy's really got a theme going. As Victor gains the upper hand, Agent Tempest, despite her little cut on her arm right there, uh, manages Carol to chips. throw an explosive <laughs> kalochi. Did I spell it wrong? Kalochi. Kalachi into the fray. <sighs> Oliver, catch! Catch? <laughs> it's a bomb. <laughs> Bouncing off! His euphoria momentarily disrupted manages to grab the explosive and use it to create an explosion that sends Victor staggering. Oh. <laughs> Looks like you're toast, Victor. With his bear claws on, Agent Croissant delivers a classic Baker-themed one-liner. Time to need some justice. Oh boy. It's gonna be like, looks like you need some justice, or right? Something, right? He can, charges at Victor with incredible speed and precision, landing a series of bare blows. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. The battle reaches its climax, and Croissant delivers a final decisive strike. I'm guessing uppercut where the claws go through the chin. He's got to live, though. <laughs> yeah, I guess He's so. He's got to come does back in live. like a third sequel or whatever, right. you know? Can he come back again right now so we can try for a second one-liner? <laughs> <laughs> try to get a better one. Can we, can we can we see him resuscitate as 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 a uh... <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, hey, hey, uh, we can pull a die hard right here at the end. In the thrilling climax, Agent <laughs> Croissant overcomes Victor's secret weapon with the help of the explosive Kalachi and his bear claws, ultimately defeating the villain with a Baker themed one liner. Justice prevails, and the mission is completed. But In wait! The uh, Croissant and Tempest are enjoying mm -hmm, their victory. Each other's baked goods. <laughs> and each other's baked goods. He's enjoying my cake. That's right. <laughs> In Victor's office. Suddenly, Victor wakes back up. Uh, uses a, a uh, uh, smoke bomb. Uses a smoke bomb to escape while delivering a uh, villainous... One uh, bakery themed one liner. Bakery okay. themed one liner. Croissant and Tempest know that he will return one day. Mm -hmm. And then probably the last scene is they're going to go back to the HQ here in just a minute, right? right. But the guy's got to escape. Yeah. The guy's got to escape. Mm hmm. Uh, and I think, dude, I mean, fuck it. This is writing it as a comedy. So in that last scene, we got to go out on a joke. Go right. out on a one-liner. Of or course, whatever, yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, all right, interior of Victor's office that night. Agent Croissant and Agent Tempest sit amidst the aftermath of their victory, indulging in a selection of baked goods from Victor. That's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> baked goods yeah, from Victor's office. they shouldn't be eating those. Right? Victor's baked goods were bad. <laughs> you know, Lucia... There's nothing like celebrating victory with a good croissant. And your bear claw. Not bad. Yow. <laughs> Suddenly, Victor Von Kulinair stirs, regaining consciousness. He swiftly uses a smoke bomb. Smoke bomb. To disappear into the shadows. Farewell for now, agents. But remember, I'll rise again like a perfectly big souffle. God damn it. God fucking damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Croissant and Tempest exchange a knowing glance, aware that their adversary is far from defeated. He may have escaped this time, but we'll be ready. And when he returns, we'll be here to stop him. They clink pastries. <laughs> clink, <laughs> clink pastries together. Their bond uh, stronger than ever as they prepare for the inevitable return of Victor Von Coulinier. Let's write dialogue for the last scene. Croissant dun, 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 returns dun. to DSD headquarters. Um, collects his accolades and is debriefed by the chief. The last line of dialogue uh, has to be a classic one-liner on the part of Double O Dozen. Then fuck you, smash the credits. Then fuck <laughs> you, smash the credits. Yeah, all right, here we go. Interior of the DSD headquarters at the chief's office the next day. Agent Croissant returns to DSD headquarters where he is met with accolades from his colleagues. He stands before the chief's desk ready for the debrief. Ha <laughs> ha, Croissant, you've done it again. Victor Von Collinier's operation is in ruins. You're a true hero. Just doing my duty, chief. The chief leans in and gets real serious with it. Hey, now we know Victor will be back, Croissant. We need you to stay vigilant. Don't worry, Chief. I'll be ready for him, after all. I'm the yeast of their problems. Oh, <laughs> Bam! And, the credits, and there it is, yes! man. God damn. Yes! Give it up for Billy the Fridge in Double O Dozen. What was it? Butter bakeries and and boobs. Betrayal. <laughs> Betrayal. Whatever it was called. My God. All right, let's wrap it for the YouTube version. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to comment underneath. And again, tell us what your favorite part and least favorite part of this ridiculous movie was. And we'll see you next time on Artificial Dinner Theater. God damn it, Billy. Good job, dude. Yeah. Thank you guys. Good job. It was a lot of fun. You guys are awesome.